know, people often ask me, hey, Kevin, what street do you live on? I just tell them, I live on Stone Street. What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin the Cold Brew Mechanic and people don't often ask me that and I actually live on a, a Myrtlewood Road. So, um, all right, St New York Stone Street Coffee Company, cold brew. Got this on Amazon, another one I saw on Amazon. I'm trying to go through because it's easier. You know, I don't want to do these these coffee reviews or the cold brew reviews from on coffee that y'all can't get. So I've just been pounding Amazon, trying to find the most popular ones. And um, this one is Dark Roast. Our cold brew coffee is made specifically to create a smooth, less acidic coffee that won't taste watery or bittery. I don't know about the watery part. We make artisanal quality coffee for every New Yorker. If you're selling on Amazon, mm, I'm not sure how artisanal you are. Uh, with an unparalleled, I mean, I sell on Amazon and you know, some of my stuff's artisanal. With an unparalleled approach to freshness, every bean we offer was roasted right over the bridge in Brooklyn. We're the only roaster that crafts small batch, exacting quality, but at a scale to serve all of Manhattan. That's serious coffee for serious New Yorkers. Stone Street is dedicated to sourcing the very best of organic, fair trade, rainforest safe, and kosher coffees. Visit stonestreetcoffee.com for full certification info. I'm a backdrop blowing all around. I had this up from a, a cigar video I did uh, last night. Um, let's see, okay, so 15 bucks, one pound of coffee. I don't know if that's expensive or not, but it said, uh, um, uh, and, and re I, I did make a, a, a note there, let's see where it said, uh, never, don't, won't taste watery or bittery. It's not very dark. I mean, it is a pretty, probably medium, like a, a, on a scale, light, medium, dark, definitely a, a medium. Smells like coffee. It's a little bitter. It's it's almost a lot bitter. Um, so let's let's try it. Let me get my lid on tight with uh, with my typical ice splash of milk, um, uh, uh, three tablespoons of uh, uh, liquid sugar. Now I didn't water this one down because it looked pretty thin, but as kind of bold and and that bitter that I'm getting, I may you know I probably may have should have may have should have you know thrown a little you know little water in here to, to, to dilute this down but let's give it a shot that bitterness is still um, still coming through it's definitely a, a a bitter bold coffee I think that caffeine um, um, uh, content is going to be there. You know, for as bold as it is on my tongue, um, as it stands right now, I don't know if I'll be able to get through the whole glass. It's, it's, it's strong, and I don't know. I really don't want to water it down with anything else. I don't want to keep at you know. Obviously, you keep adding sugar, you keep adding water, milk, and eventually you're going to you know get rid of the coffee flavor completely. And that's not what uh, uh, the reviews are all about. This is probably one of the boldest, strongest. I did the uh, uh, the Starbucks cold brew um, in the bags, ones you buy at Walmart um, already in the bags, and that was a pretty bold coffee probably the most caffeine I've ever gotten from a cold brew. So I have a feeling because taste wise that this may be up there uh, with that. So I've got things to do around the house. I'm going to drink this up, enjoy my day, and then um, we'll see. Um, luckily I don't have a lot of strenuous work today. So um, that, that uh, caffeine kick might not uh, uh, mess with me. But uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit, bit and um, we'll uh, kind of get you my final thoughts and see how this uh, see how this cold per this cold brew developed. All right, that is the end of the New York Stone Street. That is a laser beam of light coming in here. Boy, it is a warm afternoon. So. <coughs> Oh, 
Ooh, I swallowed that wrong. I kind of wanted one more drink. It was, it was a little sour, it was a little bitter, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I got some grounds at the bottom there. Um, is it a, a, um, a coffee that I would buy again? No. Um, it's just, you know, I, and as, as strong as it was, <coughs> I expected the caffeine to be uh, a little bit more there. Now, it did have some caffeine, but it wasn't over the top. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, I definitely got some grounds down in my in, in my my thing, the esophageal tract. Um, I expected more caffeine, wasn't there, but I was happy with the amount of caffeine. I don't like too much, but it was, you know, it said less acidic coffee, it won't taste watery or bitter. It was a little bitter. It was a little acidic, um, and it was just it was if you're if you're a strong coffee if you're a a black co hot coffee drinker you would probably love this if you're you know not if you if you really don't like those those really strong coffees this is probably one that that I would stay away from <coughs> and uh, I don't know good look it up um, oh man sorry <coughs> painting all day that. Oh, sorry with the paint fumes and then the coffee that got in there. I gotta go grab a bottle of water. Um, I'll leave a link down below. Um, it'll um, it's where I bought it on Amazon. If you want to look up a little bit more information on it yourself, see a close up of the package. You're more than welcome to. But um, I think uh, I don't know. I just I just don't think I don't even think I'm gonna finish this one out. <coughs> I'll probably send it to my sister. She likes uh, 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 stronger coffees. Well, I gotta watch that at the end. Ooh. So normally I pull, I, I, I drink the whole mason jar this time in my rumble jar. And normally I always leave a little at the bottom because I know there's gonna be some grounds. But I put my syrup, I put my sugar all in the mason jar, shook it all up, uh, and then never even thought twice that that was going to settle in my cup so uh you want to keep your eye out for that <coughs> i'm never getting that out of my chest so all right cats and kittens you know take take from this what you will but remember keep brewing